Samji, audience want to see you. You just take it the back camera. Oh, the Hare Krishna Prabhuji, we can't hear you. Okay. Just a minute, Balaji. Sleep camera. And I think the class should not be online. People should come to them. This one's from they from UK. They are from UK. Daily our Zoom class. Yeah, and they are from UK and everything. Hey. Hey. Kumar Prabhuji, we can hear you. So if you can keep the mic uh, near where you are for Prabhuji. Yeah, you have to wait for some time. We can hear Prabhuji uh, clearly now. Yeah, which is, what is the name here? No, who has done it from here? Is Shobha? Yes, sorry. Yes, we can hear Prabhuji uh, very well now. This one? There are only five. Which one is this one? That's very. Ah, just one minute. We all should become expert by now. We make it small. We can see you, Prabhuji, now, and we can hear you as well. Wait, you wait. I know you can do it. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Dhanrat Pranam. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. We are eagerly waiting for your class today. Okay. It seems very hard to see myself in front of your class. And it is not straight. No, 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 Amudiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyantiyanti
very happy to see all of you after a year. Right? Did you last year? Last year. Last year. So after a year, and none of you have changed, you are all the same. So, Hare Krishna's mercy. I pray in one year people change, right? They become old, but you all have become younger. I'm saying, I was wondering whether I saw you now or. So, thank you for following Krishna consciousness. Thank you for coming to temple regularly in our programs. And thank you for offering your services. And I'm sure I was telling Bharat Prabhu that next time when I come next year, so we should not have program here. We will have it in our new temple. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be shifting to our new land soon. Yes. And that will happen if all of you support. See. So <coughs> I'll be happy even if you put a tent there and do it. <laughs> but you should be on our land. So we are beginning today Bhagavad Katha. Hearing from Shuman Bhagavatam. Many times we think that we know what is Bhagavatam. But when we start hearing chapter by chapter, understanding the instructions given therein by Shiva Prabhupada and by the Shiva Goswami or other sages. Then we realize that Bhagavatam is a lot of things to offer. And Bhagavatam is nectar. Bhagavad Gita, when we read, we try to understand the principles. Bhagavad Gita is for understanding the principles. Bhagavatam is for relation. Now you've understood the principles. Now you know Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Now you know that there is a spiritual world. Now you know that we have to perform Bhakti, Manmana, Bhagavan, Bhakti, Bhakti, Namaskaru. And now relish. So that is Bhagavatam. And the coincidence is that we are starting it when Purushottam month is appearing. Very, very auspicious month, Purushottam month. Comes once in three and a half years. So it's not coming every month, every year, sorry. So it comes once in three and a half years. And considered to be the best month for performing devotional service. So we will we are beginning our Bhagavad Katha. And one of the instructions or one of the rules for following the vow or prata of Purushottam month is to hear Srimad Bhagavatam daily. So we are beginning with that. And I'm sure throughout the month we we'll keep here. Maybe we will have the facility in the temple every day and come and hear Srimad Bhagavatam. So and a lot of other things are done in this month. We will discuss about it. And uh, the best is to hear Shumat Bhagavatam. <clears throat> it is said that at one time in this month, Lord Narasimha Dev appeared. We know Lord Narasimha Dev appeared on Narasimha Chaturdashi, but one time, because he keeps appearing. So one time he had appeared, because that was the time when. Hiranyakashipu, while asking the benediction that I should not die like this, I should not die like this, he also asked that I should not die in any of the 12 months of the year. He was very smart. <laughs> so he asked, 
that means he will never die. If you say that you, I should not die in any of the 12 months, that means you are not going to die. This is so clever. But he forgot Krishna is, is like clever and clever and body, whatever you want to put any degree. So Krishna killed him in Purushottama. Because this doesn't come in any of the 12 months. <laughs> So that's why this month is very special month where we are doing the Bhagavad Katha, starting and grateful to uh, Scon and Red Management, especially Path Prabhu for allowing me to come here and speak to all of you. I would like to begin by speaking about worship the month first, and then we will speak on that. Is that okay? Do you want to hear about worship the month? Yeah. People call it Adhik Mas also, or some people call it Mal Mas also. Mal means two. It is dirty. So some call it dirty mass, Mal Mas as, as dirty as two. And some people call it Adhik Mas. Adhik means it is extra man. And the devotees of the Lord call it Purushottam man. So it is said that this month appeared and nobody, because this month is extra month, it doesn't come every year. So there are no tithis in that, like no more etc. So good things are generally not done during this time. People think like that. So then this month was thinking, what is this? Nobody is bothered about me. So we went to the Lord. One place it is said that she personified the day of the month, she went to the Lord. So, anyway, whether he or she. So they went to the Lord and uh, Lord Vishnu said, Come, I'll take you to Krishna. So, he was taken to uh, all over Vrindavan. And Krishna heard the plight that, oh, nobody is bothered. People are calling me one mass, 30 mass. Don't worry, I'll give you my name. One of the names of Krishna is Purushottama. That is why Jagannath Puri is called Purushottam Kshetra. Because there, Purushottam Lord and Purushottam form, Jagannath is sitting there. So he gave the name Purushottam. And he said, I'm not giving the name, I'm giving you the power also, my power. So this month became very powerful. And he said, henceforth, it will be known as Purushottam Purushottam means the best of the men. Purushottam. Purusha means men. And Uttama means best of the men. That's Krishna. So he said, I will I'll give you like this. And then he said, whoever performs the Vrata in this. So this story actually was told to Yudhishthira by Krishna himself. There's a description in the Puranas that Narad Muni goes to Lord. And he asks about all the months and then he said, I've heard about this Purushottam man. What are the glories of Purushottam man? And then Lord starts saying that I will tell you what Lord Krishna told you this day about this month. So then he started speaking about it. And he said that once when Yudhishthir was they Yudhishthir with his brother, they were all staying in the forest. They had lost everything. Actually, you see, many times people think when they hear about Mahabharata, they think that injustice was done to Karna. Because Karna was not allowed to do certain things. Many problems came in his life. He got the benediction, but then he forgot all his powers, this, that. But they don't look at Pandivas. How much suffering they had to go through. So, Pandavas were ruling and they were cheated and they lost everything. They lost their kingdom, they lost their money, they lost their opulences. And not only that, their wife was being disrobed in front of everyone. I request not to speak, please, not to talk. 
maintain silence and Katai is going on. That should be a discipline for you. Am I wrong in saying that? Do you agree? Anybody is going to fight a case against me because of that? If you speak, I'll fight a case against you. In the court of Krishna. So then, Yudhishthira lost everything. They had to go to the forest. They were in the forest. And Krishna came. And Krishna told them, We know why you are suffering. So Yudhishthira then he told about, first he told about Purushottam Man. Then he said, Narada went in this, this whole description. And then he said, Because you did not follow the vow of Purushottam Man. That's the reason for you to suffer. So that's the reason for you to suffer. And then he said, let me tell you one more history related to you all. And he said, there was a king, there was a sage, Mehavi, and he had a daughter. So the mother died early, father raised the daughter, but father was not concerned about getting her married. She was of marriageable age. Father was not concerned. And after some time, it so happened that the father also died. So now this girl, <clears throat> she didn't have mother, she didn't have father. She was not married, so she didn't have any family. And that was the time when Durvasamani came. Durvasamani was friend of her father. So then she said, that, you know, see my condition. I don't, I have no one. So he said, don't worry. You perform some vrata. And he said, very soon, Purushottam month is coming. Why don't you perform? Because this is considered to be the best. He said, it is considered to be even better than Kartik month. So why don't you perform vrata? And you sure everything will be all right in your life. And this girl said that, you know, I think you're lying to me. I've never heard that something can be greater than so. Uh, even Karthik and other, and then you know, he performed the term. So then Durvasa was very angry. Even Durvasa, when he gets angry very fast. But he said, I would have cursed you, but because you're a daughter of my friend, I'm not cursing you, but I'm sure you'll get the reaction. So then he said, you should not have criticized the Purushottam a month like that. So anyway, later, she wanted to get married, but she wasn't. So she started performing austerity to please Lord Shiva. You know, it is said that if you are not getting married, you should try to perfect, try to please Lord Shiva. And that is why India, on Monday, if you go to Shiva temple, you will find a big queue. All young boys and girls. Boys come, okay, I should get a good wife. And girls come, I should get a good husband. Now, poor Shiva. He has to open up bureau, marriage bureau, to see if he will get married to <laughs> leaving all his work. So anyway, he, she, she worshipped Lord Shiva. And then, Lord Shiva, after she performed a lot of austerity, and then Shiva appeared. So she was, she was asking, she was like, okay, what do you want? So she was very eager because for years and years she was waiting to get married and she said, I want to get married. 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 Five times she repeated that. And she was like, Tathasthi. And he said, because you asked five times, you'll have five instance. And she was scared. What do you mean? In fact? And he said, yeah, you asked for it. Right? You should have just asked once. So he said, when you go to the Lord, be very careful. Right? What you are speaking. So she asked for five times. She was said, you'll have five husbands. She was like, what's this? I said, don't worry. Not in this life next time. And she was the robber. So Lord Krishna said, this is the reason that she also had offended Pushyata Man. And that is why she's also suffering. So then he said, now the next Pushyata Man, when it comes, when it comes, then it follows it. So he said, and Vishnu Maharaj did follow that. So, and there are so many other um, stories connected to Prashwatta Mantra. But let's go how we can follow. Instead of hearing the stories, let's go to how we can follow the Mantra. What can be done? 
I will go to certain things. You see what you can do. If you can do all, very nice. But if you cannot, whatever you can follow, please try to follow it, starting from the morning, for short the month. So, we will be having special programs in our center here also every day for the whole month. And uh, so you can be participant of that. But what you can do at home, what you can do, how to follow and how to get your maximum benefit of this for short the month. So I will tell you, try to do that. The first thing is, if you do not have a deity at home or a photo of Radha and Krishna, because this is the month where Radha and Krishna are worshipped. This is a special month for worshipping Radha and Krishna. Prashatta month. So if you do not have a deity of Radha and Krishna, then you should have a photo at least of Radha and Krishna. Right? If you do not have, tell us, we will give you. In charge, part two of our test. <laughs> when I said we will give you, so I have to tell you, don't be worried, you in charge. We can't give you. So, first thing is that you have the deity or the picture of Radha Krishna at your home. Worship day. Worship means a simple worship can be offered with incense, flowers, a deepa. Every day. At least for a month. If you're not been doing, if you're, if you're doing, continue, if you're not doing, please do that. That's the first thing. Second is, we all chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Those of you who are chanting few rounds, one round, two round, five round, eight round, sixteen rounds, whatever, increase your rounds of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Compulsory. So those who are chanting sixteen can be there, time can chant sixty-four rounds if you can. But not at least thirty-two rounds, if not twenty rounds, twenty-five rounds, whatever we can. So try increasing your number of rounds. That's the second thing. Third thing, please recite 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita called Purushottam Yoga. 15th chapter. Very few verses are there. Short, short chapter. Maybe at the end of the class, we will also recite it. We can have a good Now, this 15th chapter is going here. We are every Sunday, we are doing that. Oh, you are doing that. Purushottam months every day recite 15th chapter. It's called Purushottam Yoga. So maybe later when Bhagavad Gita can be brought, and then we will recite all the verses quickly. It takes just five to seven minutes. So every day, please recite um, chapter 15 on Bhagavad Gita. It's, it's very auspicious. How many days Okay, what are the three things? Krishna, Radha, and Krishna. Thank you. 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 Thank this is the month reduce oil, increase ghee. So offer ghee lamps to the Lord every day. If you can come to the temple, I will request the temple management to provide facility every day in the evening. You offer the lamps, maybe around 7 15, 7 20 after the arati, is 10 minutes. And if you cannot come daily, then please offer at home ghee lamps, like we do in Kartik Mahan. Fifth, fourth, fifth is that while offering lamps, we can recite Chaurashtakam or Jagannathashtakam. Any of them. Jagannathashtakam is also very special to the Jagannath Priest subsidy to the Purushottam Shetra. You know, I love children, but not their leaders. <laughs> so, Chaurashtakam, we are going to sing today also. 
So they will be distributing you this. So this you can carry at home. Okay. This is a gift for you. So you can carry it as Chaurashtakam and a very important shloka, which we are going to recite after I give you these papers. It is said that this shloka was recited by a great Rishi during Purushottam Mahal. So this shloka, 33 times in a day, per day, 33 times. Don't think it's too much. It will take five or seven minutes to decide, 33 times, right? So if you can recite, otherwise you cannot, at least once you decide. It's a very nice verse speaking about Lord Krishna. Let's recite this first, right? It's a very nice verse. So, but then for that, I'd like to give you the papers and you start reading Chaurashtakam, which we are not deciding right. So I'll just recite the verse, and then when you get the paper, you can decide later. You recite 33 times on the standing day. Quickly, right? So, this. So, that how many I've told, including this shloka? So, Chaurashtakam and Jaganaka Shikam while offering the land we can sing. I think in one month you will memorize also. Right, so we won't need paper, we'll memorize in one So that you can do. So offer key lamp, etc. And of course, it is said that you should take bath in the holy river every day. So you have Ganga here, Yamuna, Saraswati, Kaveri. No. <laughs> <laughs> Holy river. So if you don't have, I'm not sure if you don't have it here, then at least you can have the water and sprinkle it. While you're taking bath, you sprinkle that water, Kanga gel. I'm sure if all of you may be having Kanga gel in your house. So Kanga gel you can use. Sprinkle just a little so that it is there still. So that can be done. Or even if you don't have, you can remember Ganga. Remembering Ganga is also very beautiful. So that should be. And then next is, you should follow celibacy for one month strictly. We be a celibate Brahmachari. Or uh, even the Brahasthas, they say, how can we be Brahmachari? Just follow celibacy for one month strictly. And very important, do not criticize anyone and do not waste your time in useless talks. And the last one, which is very important, which is considered the main thing in this Purushottam uh, month, uh, is to give charity. You see India from tomorrow. So much of charity people do it because this month is considered very, very auspicious for that. So, a lot of charity. What charity can you do? You can call devotees in your house and feed them. Prasadam, that is also charity. You can help in our food for life program, that's also charity. You can sponsor this katha we have for three, four days. I am sure already must have been sponsored, right? Yeah, today is sponsored. Uh, two days are already sponsored. So if you are lucky, you may get two more. Two days are there, right? Yeah. So if you wish, you can sponsor this. Basic idea is give some charity and help people. Feed people. So that will be very nice. That's considered very auspicious and interesting. And uh, so these are some of the things that you can do. Will you remember all this? Yes. How many of you will perform this Vrata? Please raise your hand up. I'm, per I'm performing so. Okay, very nice. All others are saying, we will wish you success. Don't worry. Yes, okay. 
I should not have said so many things. Huh? So I did it. I delete whatever I said. Go back and I already said whatever you can perform from Vijay, you can do it. You can perform everything you can, very nice. But otherwise, at least perform whatever you can. Maybe you can worship Radha Krishna Devi. That's not a problem. Right? How many of you will do that? Okay. Worship Radha Krishna Devi. Very nice. That's at least that much. So this is uh, Purushottam month and uh, today also we are starting from today. So after the class, we are going to offer lamps. We are going to sing Chaurashtakam. Very nice. Uh, I have this bhajan. If you if you recite and with the meaning, if you understand the meaning, it's so nice. I just I just say Jai Prasitam Nadani Pitgaranam Jadukul Chal. Braja Prasitam in Braja. Krishna is very famous as Navadeep Chaudam. He is a thief, butter. He steals the butter. So, butter thief. So, Braja Prasitam is very famous. Gopanganam Chadukul Chaudam. And then he takes away the clothes of gopis. He is again a thief. He steals. But then, for us, very nice thing it is said. The third line is very good for us. Anek janma jit paap chaur Chaura draganyam durusham namam Anek janma jit paap chaur He is the only thief who can steal away all our sinful reactions which we have accumulated from many, many lifetimes. Anek janma jit paap chaur let us offer our listeners to such a great thief. So this is Chaurashtra, this is the beginning. So if you recite it with meaning, it will be so nice. So from today we will start and we will have a recitation and we will have an offering of the lamb and then of course prasham. Right? And those who are following Chaturmas, this, this has come after 19 years, it has come into Shravan month. So those who are following the Chaturmas, in Chaturmas, in Shravan month, we don't take any leafy vegetables. But from tomorrow onwards, it can be allowed because tomorrow onwards, Chaturmas is stopped. There is no following of Chaturmas from tomorrow. It's on the other mass. So you can eat green leafy vegetables, no problem. Up to 16th of August. Then 17th onwards, again, what 15 days are remaining for the Chaturmas, uh, Shravan months, that will come in. So that can be there. So, okay, now we will start our Bhagavad Katha. So, most important thing, I did not tell you all the things. I told you already Bhagavad Katha to be heard every day, right? So, we will keep the recitation and uh, that will be nice. So, let's start. Harvard Katha. Now, do we have time? Can people watch here? Watch, watch. Because I would like to start and end on time. Okay. Oh, it's already 8 20. I was told 8 30. I'm supposed to stop. So, thank you very much. It was very grateful to you because you came. What should I do? Stop. I haven't started yet. Let's start. All of you agree? So you'll be here till at least 10 o'clock? Yes. Wow. Yes. Hello? Okay, before reciting Bhagavatam, let's pray. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Omo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Narayan Namaskritya Om Narayan Namaskritya 
ಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ business he will never glorify a similar business or someone else that that is better than me and uh, but here one purana is glorifying the other purana to the extent of saying that if shrimad bhagavatam is there then there is no need of any other purana so that means how special shrimad bhagavatam is it is considered to be the form of the supreme personality of god there was a question by sages to sutta goswami that krishna has gone back and he has taken along with him all the religion all the knowledge dharma gyana nidhi saha and he's gone back now now where are the religious principles where have they taken shelter how will we know what is real religion because there is so much confusion about religion and the answer was don't worry krishna has gone back but then a sun has arisen that is shrimad bhagavatam all the religious principles are there in shrimad bhagavatam and how is it glorified sarva shastra dipiyusha ಸರ್ವೇದೈಕಸತ್ಫಲೋಕೈಕದೃಕ್ಪ್ರದಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಕಲಿಭಾಂತೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಿವರ್ತಿತ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತನ ಸ್ಲಾಕ್ನೆ ಸರ್ವ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯುಕ್ಷ ಸರ್ವ ವೇದೈಕ ಸತ್ಫಲ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೈದಿಕ್ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ the most ripened and the tastiest fruit is shrimad bhagavatam sarva vedik satphala sarva siddhant ratnadya if you're talking of philosophy the principles the topmost philosophy is given in shrimad bhagavatam sarva siddhant ratnadya sarva lokai kadrik pradai is meant to give vision eyes to all the planets sarva lokai kadrik pradai light to all the planets and then it is six sarva bhagavata prana it is a life of all the devotees because what we are speaking what we are getting knowledge what we are relishing is shrimad bhagavata so this is shrimad bhagavata sarva bhagavata prana shrimad bhagavata prabho kali bhanto digaditya saika san arising in the kaliyu and it says shri krishna parivartita shri krishna has come back in the form of shivan in chaitanya bhagavat vrindavan das sakur says vrindavan das sakur is considered to be the vyasa deva shri chaitanya mahapurana and he says that there are four things in which lord krishna has appeared in this kaliyuga four forms and by which krishna has appeared of course apart from the name because he has he is in the he is 
the name. There is no difference between Krishna and his name. Kali Kali Nama Rupi Krishna Avatar. Krishna has appeared in the form of name. But apart from that, there are four things that are considered to be form of Krishna. The number one is Ganga. So Ganga, because it is coming from touching the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, that's why one of the name of Ganga is Vishnu Padi. And because of that, Ganga has the power to purify. So first is Ganga. Second is Sulasi. That's why we worship Tulasi. People get amazed that these people are crazy. Why are they worshiping a tree? Tulasi is part of Krishna. And third is Vaishnavas. Krishna is there in the form of Vaishnavas, his pure devotees. And fourth is Srimad Bhagavatam. So Srimad Bhagavatam is considered as, and in the Puranas also it is given, Sant Puran says, Pado Yahiyo Prathama Dvitiyo. That first and second canto are your lotus seat. So if you want to see Krishna, so first and second canto are lotus feet. And then third canto, fourth canto, they are like thighs going up. Fifth canto is navel. Sixth is the chest. Seven and eight are hands. Nine is the neck. Navam. So this is Navam. Ninth canto. And tenth canto is Krishna's face. And eleventh canto is his forehead. And twelfth canto is his head. So this is how the whole Bhagavatam is. Form of Krishna. You remember? First canto, second canto, third canto, what is it? We will say. Yes. Yeah. Second, next, straight. Okay. Yes. Okay. See if you know, otherwise you'll go second on the neck, not like him. Correctly. Yes. First and second are the lotus feet. Nice, very nice. No. Okay, carry on. Then. Okay. At least from second directly was next, so he is progress something. Very nice. Anyone else? Yes. Oh, you raise your hand. I thought you were saying. Yes. Why only children are trying? What about others? Yes. First and second are the lotus feet. Third and fourth are the thighs. Fifth and sixth are the chest. Okay, okay. Yes. Seven and eight are the eight hands. Very good. And that is Krishna's space. Eleventh and twelfth is Krishna's home. Very nice. Something at least you miss only two or three. Otherwise, he said very nice. But not perfect, but very nice. At least we should clap for him. Very nice. You missed only one or two. Anyone from the older children? We call them both guru bachche, former children. Huh? Anyone? No. Yes. Uh, the first and second are the lotus feet. The third and fourth the thighs. The fifth is the navel. Yes. The sixth and uh, uh sixth is the chest. Seven and eight are the hands. Ninth is the face. Uh, tenth is the mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the other is the uh eleven is the forehead. Good. 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 Good.
right? Only one message, otherwise seven. Thank you. Okay, I'll repeat it for all of you. Please hear carefully, then I will ask each of you, you can tell me. Okay, then I'll ask you, tell me, you tell me. So be very attentive. Padayadiyo prathamo vritiyo. So first two, first canto and second canto are as lotus feet. Pado, that is feet, right? Third and fourth canto are his eyes. Fifth is navel. So we're going from down. Lotus feet, eyes, navel. Six is the chest. Seven and eight are his arms. Seven and eight. Ninth is neck. And come to Rajan Nabomo. So this is nine. Tenth is face. Eleventh is death. And in twelfth is simple, right? Now who will tell me? No, no, you already spoken. Those are not so evil, you go directly on the neck. <laughs> Those are not so good. Quickly, you have to start Bhagavad Gita. First and second. First and second are the lotus feet. Third and fourth are the you know, thighs, lower leg and thighs. Then come the fifth is the navel. Then come the chest. Sixth, seventh, and eighth are the uh, both uh, upper leg, means hands. Then comes the neck, the kanta. And uh, after which one? Ninth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Tenth is the face of Lord uh, Krishna. And uh, ten, and ninth. 10th, 11th is the uh, forehead, Matham, and uh, 12th is the uh, brain or the forehead. Okay. Good. I you very powerful memory. So then, you know, so this is Bhagavad Gita. It's a form. That is why it is worship. Bhagavad is worship. And there are many places where we go, we install Srimad Bhagavatam. Like last time also I was in the Sakara and in Zambia. So we announced whoever is purchasing Srimad Bhagavatam said, we are going to their house to install the Bhagavatam. So I went to their houses to install So I'm sure all of you must be happy with the Bhagavatam. Very few. Very few. Very few. Very few. Very few. Oh, not in sorry. It is said that even just to keep Bhagavatam in your house is very auspicious. Of course, reading is the best. You should not just keep it as it is. But uh, keeping in the house, it should be very Bhagavatam. Very, very auspicious, especially on Bhagavatam Purnima. It is said that we should gift Srimad Bhagavatam. But how you should give? Keeping it on a throne made of gold. So now this the throne will be costly than the Bhagavatam. So you can just give it Bhagavatam like that. So that is Bhagavatam. So we will, uh, so this is how it is glorified in various Puranas. And uh, in Padma Puran, there is a description of glorification. Bhagavat Mahatma is given in various chapters. I'll give you briefly, won't go in detail because already it's. So it is given the story of Bhakti Devi. One time Narad Muni went to Vrindal and he saw there was a young lady and two old men were next to her and she was telling, Oh, my sons, my sons. And he was wondering, She's so young and the old people are her sons. So then he asked, Who are you? And she said, Her story. Her story is very nice. Because in Padma Puran, the story is given, and that story has an indication of Srila Prabhupada also. So that's why it's very interesting. So then Bhakti Devi started telling her journey. She was Bhakti Devi. She said, I started my journey from South India. And then I came north towards the North India. I was nourished. But then when I came to Maharashtra and Gujarat, I became weak. And then when I came to Vrindavan, I was really 
I became very young again. But my sons, these are my two sons, Gyan and Vairagya, knowledge and renunciation. They are not becoming, I don't know what has happened to them. So the story she was telling, and in that, a very nice um, statement that she has made. And she says that idam sanam parityacha, idam means where I am, Vrindavan, idam sanam parityacha, leaving this place, where will I go? Videsham gamyate mayam. She said, idam sanam in Vrindavan, I will leave Vrindavan and go to Videsh. Videsh means Western world. So it was Srila Prabhupada who was in Vrindavan. And leaving Vrindavan, he went to USA, carrying Srimad Bhagavatam with him. That was the only thing Srila Prabhupada carried. First few volumes, three volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam he was carrying. Later he translated it all of it. So Bhakti Devi was there, and then Narad Muni could not find any solution. He went to four Kumaras, and then four Kumaras told that they should hear Srimad Bhagavatam. So then Srimad Bhagavatam was narrated and two sons also, they became very young. So this is the story given in Shuma in Padma Puran. And then we will go to the starting of Srimad Bhagavatam. So what we will do in next four days, we will go from the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam. And then what are the things given in that? And we'll see up to how many chapters we can cover. Right? How many chapters are there in Srimad Bhagavatam? 18 chapters. That is in Bhagavad Gita. Not Bhagavad Cantos. 12 cantos, but chapters, 335 chapters in Srimad Bhagavatam. So, okay, since somebody said 18 chapters, I but let me clarify the difference between Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad. They are not the same. Bhagavad Gita is part of Mahabharat, has 18 chapters, 700 shlokas. Whereas Srimad Bhagavatam is a Purana separate, eight, 12 cantos, 335 chapters, 18,000 shlokas. That is Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhagavad Gita is a knowledge given by Krishna. Bhagavatam is a knowledge about Krishna. Like we say, Krishna is Supreme Personality of God. Why is he Supreme Personality? Why is he God? So that is given in Srimad Bhagavad. We know God is great. Right? Everyone say God is great. How great? No one knows. That is given in Srimad Bhagavad. What is greatness of Krishna? Let's discuss this point. Very nice point has come up. God is great. What is greatness? Do you think greatness is that he creates this material world? He's very great. Do you think uh, he controls certain things? That is why he's very great. Do you think he is the master of Lakshmi Devi? That is why he's great. Yes, that is all there. But what is his greatness? In spite of having all this, in spite of being a master of Lakshmi, in spite of being controller of this whole world, creator of the whole world, he becomes servant to his devotees. That is his greatness. If a person has everything, why will he become a driver of someone? Krishna becomes Sarathi, Partha Sarathi. He becomes driver of Arjuna. And you know what kind of driver? It is said that when the battle of Kurukshetra was about to begin, and the armies were moving towards the towards, uh, battlefield of Kurukshetra, so they started leaving. This was on on the Kartik Purnima, they started going towards Kurukshetra. So, in the Pandava army, everyone had come and they were waiting for Arjuna to come because Arjuna is the main hero of this battle. So, they were all waiting. Krishna also was waiting, next to, standing next to chariot because Krishna had promised that I will become your charioteer. Parth Sarathi, I will be your Sarathi. So, he was waiting. And then Arjuna came, dressed in white dress. And then he came down, and now he has to climb up this chariot. Chariot was not very, you know, I mean, on this ground, so it was high, it was not very low. So there were no stairs kept, no, no uh, you know, ladder or something, how to climb. So what Krishna did, 
when Arjuna came and he wanted to climb the stair, Krishna kept his hands like this. He said, please climb from this. And Arjuna was climbing. <laughs> this is Krishna's love. Can you imagine the Supreme Personality of God and everything belongs to him. We belong to him and he's keeping his hands. Please climb. That is his love for his children. And when Arjuna was fighting, so you see a fighter when he's fighting, he cannot if he wants the chariot to go on left, if he wants the chariot to go on the right, what will he do? He's standing, he's fighting, and Krishna is sitting. General rule is that they use their knee because they're standing and the person sitting is on the knee level. And they hit on the left shoulder of the charioter. That means take it on the left. If they hit on the right, take it on the right. If they hit in the middle, go on straight. That's how they communicate. Otherwise, what do you think? When uh, Arjuna wanted to go on the left, he'll keep all his bow and arrow down, come back, Tomevo Mata Pita Tomevo Bandhu Sakha Tomevo, please take my chariot to the left. Will you do like that? Till that time, he'll be dead. Krishna accepted that position. That is his greatness. Who can do that? And that is his love. And it is his love that he comes here. So Bhagavatam is full of such descriptions. How Krishna exchanges love with his devotees. He went to, he went to Kauravas as a messenger of peace. John Pidhut. And he told Kauravas, he told Duryodhan, we don't want to fight. Just give Pandavas five village and they will accept it, they will not fight. Duryodhan refused, in fact, tried to arrest Krishna. But before that, Duryodhan had arranged a very huge feast for Krishna, Chappan Bhog. He had invited everyone, big feast. Krishna refused to go. Krishna just walked off. But Duryodhan was hurt badly, offended. He told Bhishma and he told Dronachari, go and call him. How dare he say no to me? I have prepared, I have done so much arrangement. How can he refuse? So Dronachari went Bhishma and said, no, please come. Everything is ready. Duryodhan has prepared chappan both for you. Please come. Krishna says, I don't eat at the places where my devotees are being envied. He is envious of my devotee. I will not eat at this house. And he just walked up and went to Vidura's house. Now, Vidura was not there in the house because he was preparing. He thought Krishna is going to have peace there. So he was preparing for him. In fact, his wife also was preparing to go. He, she had not prepared anything at the home because such a big feast and everyone was invited. She was about to leave and Krishna knocked the door. She opened the door and she was surprised to see Krishna standing there. She couldn't believe she had tears in her eyes. Krishna, my devotee, didn't know what to do. Now, top of that, Krishna says, I'm hungry, please give me something to eat. Can you believe there is Duryodhan with hundreds of items kept for him? And he just, just refused to eat. And here he's coming and begging. He's saying, I'm hungry, please give me something. She didn't know what to do. No cooking was done. She rushed, rushed inside and she found some bananas. She got bananas, okay, let me give. And she was in excess. She had tears in her eyes. She didn't know what she's doing. She cleaned up the bananas, threw the banana, and gave a bean to Krishna. Krishna was eating that. Very happy. He said, one more. And she did one more. And again, she took the banana. She gave the peel, and Krishna was eating the peel. At the time, Vidura came to the people asked Vidura, what are you doing here? Krishna has gone to your house. So it's my house and Vidura came running. Door was open. Vidura came right inside and what did he see? <laughs> banana being peeled and banana being thrown and peel is given to Krishna. Krishna is something. Vidura was, why God, what are you doing? And Krishna was saying, don't say anything. But by that time, he had already said and she realized that, my, my God, what a mistake. So next time she peeled, this time she threw the peel and gave the banana to 
कृष्ण कृष्ण एक बनाना बंडोल विदुर मजा नहीं आता Enjoyment in love. I was experiencing while eating the pea. It's not in banana. See, Krishna doesn't accept what we give. He accepts how we give. The intention behind it, the love behind it. That is why he says in Bhagavad Gita, "Patram pushpam phalam toyan yome bhaktiya prayachati." He's not interested in your patra, not pushpa, not phal, not jal. He's interested in bhakti. So that is Krishna. That love, that loving exchanges, we see in Shri Mataji, and that is why I said Bhagavat is to be relished. So beginning is at a place where in Nani Sharanya there are eighty-eight thousand sages are sitting. They are performing sacrifice for thousand years. But nothing they got. They themselves say to to Sutta Goswami that oh Sutta Goswami, we were performing the sacrifice. What did we get? We got only our mouth, my our face became black because of the smoke. Nothing else. Now please tell us the stories of Krishna. Tell us Shrimad Bhagavat. Then Sutta Goswami starts speaking, and in the first chapter they ask six questions, and we will discuss about it tomorrow. Because Partha was looking at me with angry eyes, <laughs> and you burn down if I speak for five minutes more. So, we will see tomorrow. Uh, very nice questions they asked, and then Sita Goswami start answering the second chapter wonderful answers, and then the stories. In the third chapter, there are twenty-four incarnations mentioned. So we will speak briefly about this. And then we'll go ahead and have the book. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Any questions or comments? Anything you would like to say? So we will do that. Five minutes. No, but it's like we have Arti, we have Chandrashtra, we have Coffee on the Lands, everything. Yeah, full package. Not to be going. Okay, because we have other things today, so we will stop here. But tomorrow I would like to start on time. If you come on time, so we will start on time, and then let's see whatever we do. So right now. Uh, we will start with Chaurashtakam, an offering of the lamps and kirtan. And uh, we are reading you this paper, and before that, we will decide that shloka once again Govardhan Naram Mande, so that all of you can decide. But these papers are very less, I think. Uh, we'll do that. Right now, you can share, or each of you can share with uh, maybe two or three people at a time. But tomorrow, we will give you more. We have plastic. Plastic. That's what? Plastics. Hare Krishna. Who's slain? Keep it ready. Okay, do you have papers? Everyone got it? Hare Krishna. Okay, please repeat this shloka after me. This one minute, this shloka and this side. Please don't switch out the lights. Who's doing it behind? Just go and see the other, not to switch out the light. Yeah, it's okay now. It's okay now. Program is still going on. Okay, please repeat. Govardhana Dharam Vande. I'm alone speaking so loudly and your voice is not coming. Please say loudly. Govardhana Dharam Vande. 
गोपगम गोपगूपिनम गोकुलोत्सव ईशानम गोविंद गोपिका प्रिय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 But when Sri Goswami reached there, they stop all the sacrifice and sit there to hear about Bhagavad Gita. It is also good for so at the beginning of the Purushottam mass, the Adi mass, Bhagavad Gita here by the brethren will get upset very much. So I hope all of you are other people are very happy and fortunate. So we have associates to the great devotee in the place of the Krishna Prabhu. So Prabhu Ji here last. Uh, one and a half months he is in Africa, but uh, at the beginning of the Purusha Pramas, he is coming to the end of it. This is also the double benefit for us. Hare Krishna. The so, first qualification of his grace, Adul Krishna Prabhupada, please chant Hare Krishna Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare Rama, Rama. Also, Prabhuji, we ask after 24 days, 43 days is there, and we have so many programs. I'm just giving you briefly. Already, I sent a program, itinerary program schedule of Prabhuji in your WhatsApp, elder in the group. You can read it proper carefully, and uh, you can participate more and more and invite other people to also. Hare Krishna. Also, we thanks all of you who are coming here for the Bhagavad Sarha. Also, thanks. Gautam Bhai is coming. Yeah, Gautam Bhai is coming. And uh, in first time, to this kind of eldorate, we welcome you. Hare Krishna. And also all of you. So uh, announcement first, I'm telling that one. Yeah, tomorrow is their children's program. Like children are coming as usual, or this kind of eldorate. Please send your children at 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Prabhu is giving class. Very nice. Prabhu is very... Uh, uh, you can know things are fit everywhere. <laughs> the frequency is good. Also, Mataji program is there, Prabhupada program is there, African programs are there. But tumor is for children's program. And it's not needed to worry about your children will take proper care. If you have no any vehicle facilities, please tell us so that we can arrange or take you likely. They can bring you or your children. 5 30 to 6 30 is here program. After that, that's a refreshment, very nice refreshment. After that, there is swimming and playground is here. They can play. And then you will come at 6, 7 o'clock and join there. So the program is very fixed, such a way. Then after that, uh, as usual, 7 o'clock is the program. When? Uh, 16, 17. Wednesday. Wednesday is the 8th, 19th. 19th. 19th, there is a very special program. It is called the retreat. Many people know, but many people, English people, you know the picnic. But it is not ordinary picnic, it is spiritual picnic with the Prabhupada. And very, very nice topic. It's a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment, and very nice place also. We are going to the Lula, the Kennedy's farmhouse. It's very nice, amazing farm. It's a lot of fun. It's so many greenhouse and so many, everything is there. Please be ready and make sure you will come in. 9 30 will leave there. We'll go there. Doing Hajar Kirtan, Provincial, lot of fun with the Prabhuji, drama, whatever. Games also there. So then we'll come. No need about money. Temple will provide everything. People we have planned, people will be coming from their home. But it is, I think, 9.30 is not very good time. They are making the prasad and then bringing. Temple will be providing everything. Please you come, then we'll go together. And with the Prabhuji, we'll be spending all our time. Then coming after lunch, we'll be coming back again. Then after that, we have the university student program, continue that one. And after that, in the 20th and 1st day, it is special for the Mataji's program. 
So I hope all the markets will come and you can see how we're comfortable with the promises and uh, giving the instruction and inspiration so that you can charge for and more. Hare Krishna. So this is the schedule for tomorrow. Please not forget to send your children. And day after tomorrow, please not forget to come to the temple here for the picnic, spiritual picnic. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. After that, there is a small announcement. Yeah, morning program is as usual.